much, um, Reverend Peterson. Good morning, um, ladies and gentlemen. Are you well today? Yes. Bright and early, weather's cool, so I guess we won't get bogged down by the heat. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for inviting me to the church, to the um, Children's Ministry, SA Center Children's Ministry and South African Council of Churches. Thank you very, very much for inviting um, Awareness for Child Trafficking Africa at Africa to come and um, present at this event on the topics of gender-based violence and human trafficking. So a bit about me. I am the co-founder and chairperson of Awareness for Child Trafficking Africa, Act Africa. I'm going to just call it Act Africa, because that's what we, um, the short version is. Um, I'm also a motivational speaker and a life coach. I've been in the corporate world for many years, so I've been on both sides of the, the angle, corporate and in the humanitarian space since my teens. Um, and following on as God has willed, this is where I am today. Yes, I have had negative experiences and that is what has brought me as well to this point of um, being where I am and standing here so God can use me because I am his hands, I am his feet, I am his voice. So his will shall be done. Um, I am a survivor of abduction as well. I don't think there's anybody here who has not experienced gender-based violence. So when people say, I'm a victim, I'm a victim, my next question is, is there anybody that is not a victim at some stage? But the key thing is to move from being a victim and to becoming a survivor. And that you can only do with Christ on your side and through prayer as well as all the help that comes your way. Right, so thank you very much. Um, very important, and I'm grateful that the church is, 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 is getting involved tangibly, and not just from a pulpit, preaching the gospel, praying, and letting you go. We need, as, as Reverend Heidi Peterson has said, we come to church, we come to church with that baggage, with that pain, with that brokenness. We come to church with it. And we live with it. And the church is the place where it should be our safe space, where we come in and able to find that relief. And often we find it is not the safe space. We find that the very things we're talking about here happens within the space of our faith-based organizations, be it the church, be it the mosque, be it a shul, whatever that is. But yes, these things happen right under our noses. So the church building is not exempt from these atrocities taking place. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I will do my best with God's help. And thank you for your warm reception. <laughs> 